discovery is not complete to the motion. Uh, you'll recall, Your Honor, that uh, on the day of, uh, Attorney Hayden and I, the proposed defendant, filed a motion to preserve the video and audio and produce it. It's still not been produced. Um, All right. So you owe your attorneys. Well, I thought you and I had been different. Well, we were, I discussed with, he, he had discussed uh, about uh, retaining the, uh, uh, I don't want to. All right, so we just left the uh, district court. Pete, what is it that uh, you're going to do here in Greenfield? So uh, we're heading over to the mayor's office. Uh, I've email included him on three emails uh, since our arrest on July 1st. And uh, at one point he indicated, uh, he asked when I'd be back in town. He has interest in talking. He said uh, he'd soon receive an investigatory report uh, from the Public Safety Commission, so I'm just going to go over there see if he's got it, if you see if he has anything to say. All right, cool. Hi. All right, how you doing? Good okay. afternoon. I was wondering if the mail is available. Mr. Martin and I have exchanged some emails with him, and he indicated his uh, interest in meeting next time I was in town. Howdy. Hi. Howdy. Howdy. Yeah, Pete. Pete, you're Pete? Yeah. Bill Martin. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good you were in court this morning? Um, my colleague Adam was. I didn't have a oh. schedule for the next Monday. I saw the email. I was out of town yesterday. I okay. saw the email. Yeah, I just didn't know if you uh, had time, to, if you would receive that report yet, and if so, if you had any uh, comments about it. I have not received the report. Uh, I have scheduled a uh, uh, departmental meeting. We have a monthly departmental meeting, so our next one coming up in August will have the police department will deal with this uh, internal investigation. Okay. And um, we can film. I'm sorry? We can film. Oh, good. good. Oh. Yeah. I was going to. Uh, so we wanted to, um, so I can get some more information on the surface. You could look at it both ways. Um, I don't know what happened. Uh, I've, I've heard some uh, Hartford stories from Adam himself. Um, I've read some uh, online reports. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't see that one from um, Penn Gillette. Penn Gillette. Yeah. And uh, I understand he's from Greenfield. I never That's read right. him. I didn't know, him. but that was uh, that was a darn, you know. <laughs> Some people from the Free State Project, which is the people that are hardcore libertarians and uh, trying to get there to be more freedom, I think in New Hampshire, they came down to my hometown of Greenfield and they videoed uh, police while they were arresting the police in my hometown of Greenfield, Massachusetts. And I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to ask the uh, Rev3 people to dig up that story. I'll try to send them the URL. I don't have my iPad with me, but uh, it's. Pretty, pretty sad. I wrote about this before and talked about it and did one of these about it, that uh, police were using a bizarre twist of the, uh, of the wiretapping laws to stop people from videoing them in public on their job. And it turns out this is happening now in my hometown of Greenfield, Massachusetts, where they're putting people on trial for uh, under wiretapping felonies because they, uh, they uh, videoed their arrests in Greenfield, Massachusetts. And my dad was deputy sheriff in Greenfield, Massachusetts. The police in Greenfield, Massachusetts are really nice. They're really good guys. I love that town. It's a sweet little town, but they've done something really, really wrong in arresting these guys. Uh, the entire policy manual for the police department is under review. Because of this incident? Um, it started before that. Uh, the request has been months before. Um, but there is uh, no doubt that uh, every employee of the town of Greenfield, representing the town of Greenfield in any position uh, whatsoever, shall maintain a level of professionalism and a uh, level of resident and citizen courtesy that uh, shall not be exceeded by any other department in, in the area of the United States. So this, our job is to not be anyone, but to be the servants of our uh, taxpayers and our residents. Okay. Um, all citizens. Sure. All right. Well, I don't know if uh, you know what you think 
what what's alleged that Adam and I did, uh, if you think that that warranted the punishment we've already received, you know, we uh, our property's been taken from us, our my house, my RV, my vehicle's been was trashed. Some some of us, you know, there's damage to our property. And I'd love to discuss all all aspects of that. But after we get the report in, we can um, go through the report line by line and uh, and try to come up with the rationale for every uh, decision made. Okay. All right. All right. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much. You. Yeah. Big difference is you know if Adam and I were rights were harmed by like an employee of like Walmart for example and. They would no longer be working there, and we would have, you know, a just claim to some forms of, I don't know, restitution. And these guys just spin the wheels. They investigate themselves, and you know, no one's held accountable. So it's unfortunate, but we'll see what happens. Yesterday, August second, I had my uh, what I thought would, was going to be an arraignment, but they. Uh, Whatever that means, they just penciled in a continued thing. Do you consider getting an attorney? No, not at state expense. Not at tax trade expense. All right, well, how long will it take you to get your attorney? Uh, I honestly, I just plan on presenting myself. I didn't hurt anybody. I didn't do anything wrong. So I'm not going to, I don't have the time or money to hire anybody. And I just, I didn't hurt anybody, so I don't have anything to fear. That's why I'm looking at it. All right. Well, you ask it for an opportunity to get an attorney. I would like the charges to be dropped. I didn't do anything wrong. So, however much time that takes off. Well, are you representing yourself tonight? Today, yes. I'm presenting myself today. All right. Well, I'd ask you to sign a waiver of counsel for both of you and that's behind you indicating that you represent yourself to so make it possible. That way you can comment this matter on your own behalf. Is that what you'd like to do today? I, I just don't know why I have to sign a piece of paper to say I want to represent myself. I could just have a conversation and hopefully, you know, learn that you guys realize that we were not the aggressors that day and the charges should be dropped. So if you want to have a conversation about that. He, he's not able to talk to you until you sign that piece of paper. So if you well, want to talk to him. I mean, I didn't agree with these rules that, you know, I don't know why I'm signing a piece of paper that I didn't agree to play by these rules. January 10th. January 10th. January 10th. So hopefully this video helps to communicate just how ridiculous this whole situation is. Adam and I didn't hurt anybody that day. We didn't do anything wrong. Uh, it was the cops who violated our rights, who destroyed our property, who still have our property, and who are still dragging their feet uh, with the investigation and everything. So uh, if you feel likewise, I encourage you to please uh, call Todd M. Dodge at the Greenfield Police Department and his supervisor. Call Greenfield's mayor, Mr. Martin and let them know. We're just hoping, uh, much like Institute for Justice does, we're just hoping to beat this thing in the court of public opinion today so we don't have to go and jump through a bunch of legal hoops tomorrow. So uh, thanks in advance for your help and uh, much love.